So I thought I'd come up with a variation on this problem just to kind of help you. Um, I know you've done A, B, C, and D. Part E is where we're actually going to use momentum conservation. So I want to do this in terms of letters alone, um, just because you can plug in the numbers if you wish. But I really want to do this in terms of variables. So the speed of the ball right before it hits the ground. Let me use a different approach. Let's say mgh equals 1 half mv squared. And so 2gh under a square root is the speed before it hits the ground. And then we want to know the speed at which we want to know the time and the height at which the collision takes place. So I'll actually do B and C in one step. So let's talk about the equation for little m. That's going to be x of little m equals negative one half gt squared plus zero plus the initial height, which is capital H. Why negative? Because we're going to say that downwards is the negative direction, and so it accelerates in the negative direction because that's the way gravity points. And then for the 9m, we're going to have negative 1 half gt squared. Now, its initial speed is this speed upwards because it bounces elastically or perfectly. So go to 2gh times t, and its initial height is 0. So they meet in the same position. So that's going to give me negative 1 half gt squared plus h equals negative 1 half gt squared plus square root of 2gh times t. So this cancels. And um, this cancels. Uh, and let me just be really clear on something. Oh, yeah. So the time at which they meet is going to be h over the square root of 2gh. And so the time is going to be the square root of h over 2g. That's the time at which they meet. Now let's go ahead and get the height at which they meet. Let me use xm as my equation to plug back into. So I'll have negative g times t squared, which is going to be h over 2g, plus this initial height here. And so um, this will cancel. This is negative 1 fourth. So I'm going to end up getting negative 1 fourth h plus h. So they actually meet at 3 fourths of their height. Now let's get the speed of the blob and the clay immediately before the collision. So um, v of m, which is the smaller blob that's dropped, um, is going to be negative g t plus its initial speed. And that's going to be vm equals, and I'm going to use the time from here, negative g times the square root of h over 2g plus 0. And so um, when I actually calculate this, this is going to be vm um, is going to be negative. That's good because it's a downward speed. Um, so that negative sign means it's traveling downwards. And that's going to be square root of gh over 2. Now let's get the speed of the 9m, the big mass, as it um, moves up into the air. So the, well, I'll use this formula. V of 9m squared equals v naught squared plus, sorry, minus 2g the h that it actually meets at, which is h times 3 fourths. Let me just write that a little bit more carefully. I don't like higher than So v squared 9m, when they meet, is going to be the initial speed of the 9m thing squared plus 2. Acceleration due to gravity is negative, negative g. And then the h is going to be 3 fourths of the h uh, because that's where they meet. So continuing with this, v of 9m squared equals v naught squared, which is going to be 2 g h if I have that right yes it's 2 g h minus um, this is going to be 2 times g times 3 divided by 4 times h and that's going to be 2 g h minus 6 divided by 4 which is 3 halves g h and so this is going to be 1 half g times h. And so v9m is going to be positive g h over 2 under a square root. That's the speed before they hit. Now let's figure out their velocity after the collision if they hit and stick. 
So we've got m times vm initial plus 9m times v9m initial equals 10m times v final. And we plug in our values. So we're going to have, um, well, all the m's cancel, so let's just get rid of those. So I'm going to end up getting negative square root of gh over 2 plus 9 times square root of gh over 2 equals 10v final. Continuing over here, I'm going to end up getting 8 square root of gh over 2 over 10 equals v final. Um, I could simplify this further, I suppose. Um, I might want to write it as 4. Whoa. Let me just copy all that over there again. Um, this will actually work out to be, I want to make this look nicer, so I'm just going to erase this here. Um, the way I'd want to write this is, this is going to be 4 fifths square root of gh over 2 as v final. So that is the answer to part E using momentum conservation. I'll do the uh, last free response question in the third video. On your exam, you're going to have three free response questions. And I'm going to have you pick the best, or the, the two that you want me to grade. If you grade all three, I'll assign you the highest scores to your best two.